www, no www, what the heck do we do? Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I wanted to talk about an interesting discussion because things in the world wide web are changing a little bit, right? So we're in 2016 and everybody knows we're on the world wide web, okay? We know. Now, traditionally, websites, you could have www.website.com, right? Let's take my website, joeworkman.net. You could have www.joeworkman.net and it would work. And you could have just joeworkman.net and that would probably work too. But things are changing, okay? It's 2016. Let's ditch the www. Like, we know we're on the World Wide Web. Now, why do I say this, okay? The reason I'm saying this is because web browser vendors are changing. Now, if we want to get technical, right? www.joeworkman.net is what is called a subdomain. It is a something.joeworkman.net, such as I have foundation.joeworkman.net, right? Completely different website. It's tied to the, the parent joeworkman.net domain, but it is a foundation subdomain. I have cms.joeworkman.net. I have sandbox.joeworkman.net, right? All of these are subdomains of joeworkman.net, which is my root, you know, my main domain. Well, guess what? www.joeworkman.net is a subdomain. It's just a subdomain of joeworkman.net, okay? Now, from a security standard, okay, web browser vendors are locking things down. And what does that mean to you, okay? What this means is browsers are now considering www.joeworkman.net different than joeworkman.net, right? Because it really is, it is just a subdomain. And what they're doing is they're stopping you from cross accessing assets, okay? Between domains. Now there are some workarounds, right? Some headers and HT access rules that you can add, right? But, okay? The, the simple fact is that from a security standpoint, browsers are no longer allowing you to, to request an asset from a domain from another domain, even if it's just a subdomain of your root domain. Man, that's a lot of domains, right? Okay, so what that means is, if let's take, for example, Font Pro is a new stack that um, I have out recently, right? And it allows you to manage font files okay, on your own inside Rapid Weaver. So you can load your own font files inside uh, your website. Now, let's say I added the URL to my font file as www.joeworkman.net slash myfont.waf, okay, which is a WAF file. So I've, I've put in the www subdomain in the link to Font Pro. Now, if I go to joeworkman.net in the browser, the root joeworkman.net without the www, right? My font file will not load, okay? Well, depending on the browser. Some browsers will, and depending on if you have developer mode turned on, right? There's a bunch of ifs, right? But the root of the thing is most browsers will not load that font file now because you're attempting to load it from a subdomain. So... What do we do, Joe, right? How do we fix this? The simple solution is to pick one. Either your website is on joeworkman.net, your root domain, or your site is on www.joeworkman.net. As simple as that. That is the simplest solution, is to pick one, okay? Now there are rules, a lot of time in your cPanel, Okay, in your host, your host should have an option that says, you know, redirect from 
www to root domain. So like, for example, if right now you go to www.joeworkman.net, okay, it will take you automatically to joeworkman.net. So this way, people are automatically routed to the website that I want them, whether or not they typed in www or not. It just works. Now, if you want, you can go the other way, right? You can make it so that if someone goes to joeworkman.net, it automatically takes them to www.joeworkman.net. It is completely up to you, but you should choose one, okay? Now, there are rules, like I said, in cPanel of your hosting company, a lot of them have, you know, with a click of a button, you can choose which way you want. It's common with uh, hosting companies. Now, if your host doesn't have this option, there are rules that you can add to a .ht access file. And this ht access file, it's about two or three lines that you could just copy and paste, okay, directly into the file. And it will do all of that redirecting for you. So you can either redirect to www or redirect from www, okay? But pick one and deal with it, okay? Now, other places where this makes sense that you have to do this is with things like Total CMS. Because Total CMS is an application, okay? It is making constant calls to and from the server, okay? And so browsers are making sure that, you know, there's no malware and that the origin request is coming from the same exact domain, okay? This is why it's important that we handle this. Now, I, I'm kind of beating a dead horse with this, I feel, right? But it is important, I hope you understand, that browsers are locking things down, okay? www is now a subdomain, okay? It is not considered to be the same, right? It is a subdomain of your root domain. Pick one and deal with it. Make sure that your Rapweaver projects inside the general settings, your web address, make sure that has which one you want, right? Do you, are you gonna use www or are you not? I prefer no, no www because, like I said, we know we're on the World Wide Web. It's 2016, okay? Ditch it. You're good, okay? Um, that about does it for my epic rant here. Um, I hope you, if you have any questions, right, I'll try to put um, maybe links to the little snippets in the notes to this video, so make sure you check those out, okay? And um, go forth and make your websites great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.